Hello, Tuvis Travelers, and welcome back to the best Kramer channel here on YouTube. Back today with Tranmere Rovers at the end of the season. Ladies and gentlemen, we have three matches remaining. We're kind of off a draw, a loss, and a draw. And before that, we had a draw as well. So, not the best form coming into the final three games Morecambe, Newport, and Mansfield. Three matches remaining on the season and all still to play for we are fifth on 67 points ladies and gentlemen uh, now the playoffs are looking pretty secure i would say but again we're trying to get into those top three spots we're only three points off of stockport with three matches to go stockport do have two games in hand though we have one game hand on bradford so a lot to play for in these final three games next episode will be the playoff episodes uh, we have a couple new youth players who have joined the team uh, we have some good youth prospects in the academy as well 77 to 96 potential for this guy uh daniel roche from france he's a cdm center mid and center back very good physicalities good jumping he's six foot two as well i mean realistically we could probably call him yeah we're gonna call him up we're gonna call him up ladies and gentlemen leave a thumbs up on the video if you are excited and let's dive right in to the end of the season. Oh, it should also be said, Ziegler got injured for two months, ladies and gentlemen. So we're without Ziegler for the end of the season. Uh, McClear is out for 12 days. And then Mary is out for seven weeks. So missing a few of our midfielders and our winger, Ziegler. But hopefully we can make do. Husej is knackered. So we're going to have to go... We're going to have to go with Saunders up top. I might go Lehman up top. It's only minus one. And then... Um, ooh, Edwards on the left, maybe. Edwards, uh, we could go Saunders on the left, to be fair. He has the sprint speed. Ooh, a lot of players are really, really tired right now. Now, we'll just go Saunders up top, Layman on the left. Some tired legs out there, but we'll see how it does. Sleeves rolled up. Ladies and gentlemen of the Rinskid YouTube channel, today is an arcade day. And this video is sponsored by Regents Pro wrestling ladies and gentlemen the number one wrestling show in sports entertainment the most action-packed immersive and entertaining show on all of youtube if you become a youtube member you can get your own contract in regents pro wrestling live every monday and friday right here on this youtube channel ladies and gentlemen give it two seconds and you will fall in love that's all i'm here to say go watch rpw live every monday and friday you will love it This is who we are. Daniel Roche making his debut in the middle of the pitch for the home team at Tranmere Rovers. Three matches left of the season. And hopefully for them, they can comfortably get into those playoff spots and maybe get promoted into League One. Here is Schmidt down that right side already. The best player for Tranmere Rovers. Cross is caught onto, though. Last episode, of course, the gameplay mod has been popping off for title update. Well, I've been loving the gameplay mod recently and it's been even more improved for title update 12 lovely one two schmidt in behind why did he go on his right foot wanted it to open up his body on his left he goes on his right which is a shambles man nice one too though nice we've been having really good starts to matches recently really good starts we have a lot of chances we just don't get a lot of goals so hopefully we can get a goal here of course schmidt is the main man now goes on his left foot for a long shot that one goes wide, though. Another chance for Schmitty boy. Down to the left. Intercepted. Well done. Here's Doyle. Through ball for Saunders. He's got 90 sprint speed. He's breaking in behind. Oh, awful touch. He tries to dink it over. No, he goes down. Open goal for Saunders, though. He gets the shot off. And Saunders gets the goal. 1-0 for Tranmere Rovers. Scrappy as hell. Very, very scrappy. But those are the goals we must take this late on in the season. To keep our morale up, 1-0 Tranmere Rovers. I'm loving this series, you know, a little road to glory. Playing with, like, low-rated players. We haven't really done this before, ever on the channel. Normally, we do player career just controlling one player, so... I'm really enjoying it. It's new for the channel. It's new for me. And it's really, really exciting having a lot of youth prospects and stuff. Oh, we got sent off. Oh, we definitely haven't put it on lenient. Jesus Christ, these referees are brutal. Down to 10 men. One goal down as well. Surely, we can go and get some more now. Nice chip through ball. Is Lloyd. A lot of options. He goes up to Edwards. Cohen is on him, though. It's past Cohen. In the box now. Oh, Pierre. Well done. Great defending. Rush the new man. Up to Schmidt. Up to the left. Oh, lovely ball, Schmitty boy. Left hand side. First time pass in to Saunders. One more for Schmidt. First time shot. Oh, great football. Matteo Schmidt. He's had three chances. He's biffed all of them. He's supposed to be our best player. He's the one missing all of his chances. 
Let's pass it to Saunders again now. Oh, he's fighting for it now. And I'm not really the happiest when it comes to football right now because Arsenal did indeed bottle against Aston Villa in real life. And I was hoping, you know, us winning, that would have made me even more excited for this save. Matteo Schmidt again. Oh, he's bottling every shot. He's really, really struggling. Just like a Kayo Saka. Let me know in the comments down below. What football team do you support, ladies and gentlemen? Are there any other Arsenal fans out there? Are there any Chelsea fans who are down in ninth? Man, you fans struggling down in seventh? Who else is struggling? That's the really fourth right now. Which is crazy. I'm so annoyed, man. Arsenal have bought the league again. Listen, let's not talk about that. We're trying to make Rovers fans today. We're not Arsenal fans. <laughs> also, I wanted to say a quick shout out to the second channel. Regents Plays, link in the description. The second channel has been popping off. The videos and live streams have both been doing amazing. We're getting a proper community over on the second channel for all things variety gaming. A lot of it is the No Man's Sky community right now, but any game is allowed on that channel. And it's so much fun having a brand new community all over there. Go check it out if you haven't already. Oh, Saunders' last touch. Wow, these last touches, man. They're so, so bad. Half time, 1 0 up, though. Right, some tired legs. Let's make some subs. No, 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 keeper. Oh, my God. Actually, almost broke through us. Then we need to calm down and make sure we hold on to this lead. Every point is crucial. Right now, this lay on lovely through ball. Space for Lehman. Back post. Oh, what a ball in. It goes all the way to Schmidt, who tries to get it across. Matteo Schmidt, really, really struggling. Great ball by Lehman. See, those are the crosses I like. We still need a target man, though. I feel like we still need more strikers from our youth academy. Because, you know, we have Saunders, we have Jolly, people like that. But they're not, they're, they're not great, you know. They're not great. I think we can do better. So I think maybe we send the youth academy out to... Where, where, where would have good strikers, do we think? What, what, what country... Should we send our youth scout to to find good strikers? Oh, open goal. It's 1-1. Okay, let's lock in now. Let's lock in now. They're down to 10 men. We are not here to lose. Mateo Schmidt, we need you to fix up because you're getting chances, but you're missing all of them. Oh, Jolly. Love that pressing from Jolly Boy. Gets a pass across. Open goal for Grievo. Mullet man grieves off the bench. We're transferring him to a cam. Little, little mullet man. Lovely stuff. Jolly done fantastic there. We were just speaking about getting a new striker, but Jolly done amazing right then. A lot of goals for the first match of the episode. It's for the heavy touch. Yeah, we knew it was coming. And he still gets past the right back. Ball in. He's headed clear. Schmidt can start going now. Schmidt can start going now. Get a hefty touch going. Schmidt to cut inside. Little dink up. Lovely ball. A Jolly. Oh, I wanted a little flick on for Lehman. But he goes too much. Here's Greaves. Got the go-ahead goal down to Cohen on the left-hand side. Nice ball into Lehman. One more for Jolly. One more for Greaves. Oh, he gets tackled just before. He can get the shot off. Daniel Rush on his debut. Oh, almost. Almost, almost, almost. Corner in. No one's beating that big bold man to a header. Jesus, he's massive. Low header down, Lewis. Into Jolly. Trying to get behind the defense. No. Last three minutes. To hold on to a 2-1 lead. Oh no, what a ball. What a ball. Oh, the heavy touch screwed him though. Thank God. Lovely switch of the play. And that should be all she wrote in this one. Thank you, referee. 2-1 win for Tranmere Rovers. Oh, some tired legs out there now. Some tired legs. Um, Where are we going then? Greaves. Oh, a lot of tired legs. Right. Marks can come in. Marks and Turnbull at the back. We'll go O'Connor left back. We'll go... Oh, we have a right wing back, actually. Savada, there we go. Schmidt is a bit tired. Cam, we have Lewis. Greaves is tired. Faulkner. Faulkner's probably a better Cam as well. Got the curve, his pass. Yeah, we'll play Faulkner, Cam. Uh, Roche can play again. Do we drop Schmidt? Arnold has better sprint speed than Schmidt. Obviously, he's not better skillfully, but... Or technically. We'll drop Schmidt. We'll try Arnold on the right side. He's explosive. Penultimate match of the season. We have some rotate players out there away from home. But, uh, you know, it's all about feeling confident in football. No matter what team you're playing, no matter what team you have out, it's all about feeling confident. That's exactly what Tranmere Rovers are going to do. That's Hawks already. Attacks down this left side. No one's up there with him, though. Nice pass up to Arnold. On this right side. Goes back to Faulkner. One more for Daniel Rush again going for goal. Goes wide of the target, that one lucky lad. He's more of a defensive midfielder, so he doesn't really have the finishing about him, but we, we, we you know, we never shout at a player for trying a long distance shot. 
We're all about the long shots. The ambition. As Arnold pushes forward. Through uh, Kusej. Is Rosh again. Kusej. Through to Arnold. Touch his shot across goal. No. The highlight of Tramir Rovers on 70 points for an out. Turn ball. Great tackle. Kusej. Arnold. He's been making another run through. Arnold's been amazing on the right side. Lovely ball. Kusej touching shot. Oh, no, no, no. Is he left-footed? If he's left-footed, I'll let him off. If he's right, he's left-footed. I'll let him off, but even still, for a striker, you have to do better on your left uh, on your weak foot. Great pass by Arnold. Oh, lovely tackle. Faulkner. Oh, great tackle. Referee. Oh, easy interception there for Arnold. Kusej. Ah, oh, bad pass. Lovely pressing, though. Great pressing. Oh, how have we not come away with that ball? How on earth have we not come away with that ball? Oh, Arnold again. Arnold constantly fighting for it. Which I love. Oh, for now, God, we've been the stronger team. Sometimes that doesn't matter, though. As they break through, first chance for Newport McGee with a save. Corner in. We don't clear it. Oh, my goodness gracious me. What a header that would have been. Hawks on the left-hand side. He's not the quickest. And we can't really cross in because Kusej is 5 for 6. And I feel like people, uh, teams are going to start to realise that. If he's our main striker, lovely pass up to Arnold, though. Low driven. We don't need to cross in. We play around the edge. And we get our shots off when we need to. Arnold stepping in for Matteo Schmidt, by the way. And he's been one of our better players. So far, Turnbull's knackered. We'll take him off for marks. Only in the first half. He won't be happy with that. But if he's knackered, I don't want any slips in the defense. So we'll take him off. Arnold, great backup for Matteo Schmidt. And that's what we need. We need backup for every position. And I think Arnold has just secured his spot as the right wing backup for whenever Matteo Schmidt is not playing. Hawks again with space opening up here. Going to use Kusej. Who can hold on. Falkner. Marks. Arnold. Little chip. Oh, it was Arnold, sorry. Trying to chip to Arnold. Kusej knackered. He's always absolutely knackered. Um, do we, uh, Where do we go with it? Oh, Falkner's actually... Yeah, Falkner's more of a winger. He's got the sprint. Yeah, he's like Ziegler. He's more of a winger. Right, Arnold's going to go... Arnold's going to go Cam. Then we have Falkner up top. Collar's coming on on the right-hand side. That's what we're going to do. Good tackle, Hawks. Holding on to the ball as well nicely. Here is Arnold. Now the playmaker in the middle. Can I get the pass off? Daniel Roche, great header. Falkner trying to break him behind. He's not got that speed about him. Arnold does, though. Arnold does, though. Again, he's been our best player so far this match. Lovely cut inside. Arnold on his right foot. Maybe a bit too ambitious there. It is only 1-0. The three points are not in the bag yet. We do need to be careful, especially for attacks like this. Bogle breaking it behind. The fast strikers always get the better of us. Goes back to Lewis, who looks for the cross in. He is there. I love how much the CPU cross now, though, man. It's so refreshing. Oh, what have you done there? All for defending. Oh, heavy touch messes them up. Down line. Oh, all of a sudden it opens up. Four Hawks on this left-hand side. Lovely run. He's got Falconer in the box. He tries to cut back. Went a bit too far. Bogle. Oh, no. Morris. Space down on the left. They use Lewis. Nice pass in. Oh, not as they're distributing. Or disrupting, I should say. Oh, Daniel Rush. Daniel Rush is incredible. Get it down to the right side. Cola. Lovely first touch. Lovely first touch. As he takes it. All the way down the right hand side. Cross across for Hawks. What a header. To make it too. We don't score a lot of headed goals from crosses. So that one feels extra special. As Hawks gets their headed goal. To put us 2-0 to the good. What a run. What a run. We'll bring Martinens on. Lovely cross. And look at that for a header. Here's Arnold. Maybe looking for more. Cola. Falkner's running through. One more. For Arnold, no. I don't know if goal difference is used in League 2. But if it is, we'll take all the goals we can get right now. Cola. Hawks running through. Look at that for a pass. Beautiful ball. Hawks wants his second. Oh, crossbar off the line. Has it not gone in? Referee says no. Daniel Rush picks it up. Cola. Hawks. Lovely one-touch passing. Falkner lays it off for Arnold. No. How has that not gone over the line? Well, full-time whistle goes. We win 2-0 no, anyway. Unlucky Hawks not to get another as we go into the last game of the season. This wasn't intended to be like a Youth Academy challenge, but I always love using Youth Academy players. So I feel like all of our team is going to be Youth Academy players at one point, And I'm not too mad about that.
Last game of the season, Greaves is now officially a cam, ladies and gentlemen. Which uh, I think he'll play much, much better as. We have Schmidt on the right hand side. I mean, Arnold can always play on the left if needs be. You know what? I'm going to go for it. I think he deserves a start. They can both be inside forwards. Arnold deserves a start. 17-year-old from German. He's 20 from German. A lot of German right now. Last game of the season. And the gameplay one I used just released. Their new updated version, ladies and gentlemen. So for the playoffs next episode, we're going to have a brand new updated version of the Anth gameplay mod. I just got the email saying he released it. So we'll test it out for next episode. Be excited for that one, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, it's already amazing. And he continues to make it better and better and better each time. So I'm very, very excited about that. Last game of the season against Mansfield. We're at home as well. Two wins today. I don't think we've ever had an episode where we won every single match. I might be wrong. But I don't think so. Which I'm excited about. I'm also going to go through, after the uh, after the season, I'm going to go through all of our youth players and edit all of them. Give some people long sleeves, gloves, change all of their boots. Make them look like actual players. Because obviously with the youth players, they're all wearing, you know, generic boots. They're like tucked in. They all have like similar stuff. So I'm going to go through all of them and uh, make sure they all look like actual players. Give them all boots and, you know, long sleeves, glove, ankle tape, uh, celebrations and all stuff like that. Edit all of them. And make them all look absolutely incredible. Reeves losing out. We've been starting well this episode. But so far, Mansfield. I feel like they're up for this one right now. Which I don't like the look of. It's Cohen. Left hand side is Arnold. Anyone in the box? Arnold looking to cut inside. He can't get it. Oh, Cohen pressing though. Oh, referee. Come on, man. How is that yellow? Refs are ruining the game. If I'm being honest with you. Pierre out on the right side. Here is Mateo Schmidt. Kusej, lovely ball through for Greaves, the new cam. Oh, good save. I think Greaves is going to be one of our best players, you know. Now that he's officially a cam, it is best position. I think he's going to be a good little player. Kusej touches shot. Humble, surely open goal anyway. Daniel Rush. <laughs> Daniel Rush gets his goal, his first ever goal for Tranmere Rovers. And he is loving it, ladies and gentlemen, from the home fans. Last game of the season, Daniel Rush. Gets his first of a goal for the club. It was a scrappy one. I think it was going to get a penalty regardless. But we take the goal and we move on. I don't know what's happened. We were struggling this whole season to score goals, to keep clean sheets, to win matches. Now, all of a sudden, our team, our team's popping off. We're winning every game, going into the playoffs. I think we can actually get promoted into League One after this season. I really, really do. I want to get all the, all the way to the Premier League, though. We've never done a road to glory from League Two before. I really want to like go all the way. You know, I want to do it all. Don't let him pass past you. He cuts back looking for help. And help is what he gets is Clark. Into the middle. Nice press on him. Ball up to Oates. Back to Clark. We only 1 0 up. Let's make sure we keep that 1 0 lead. Oh, good tackle, Marino. I never want to lose Marino. Where's Schmidt? Here he is. Get it to Schmidt when in doubt. Oh, ref. We'll take the foul. I thought it was going to be gone then. Oh, Stamina's not looking too bad either. Normally Stamina's dwindling at halftime. Not looking too shabby. Last 45 of the season. Here we go. Down to Arnold. Been pushing down the left side a lot. Even with Schmidt on the right. Again, I like Arnold. Another reason I love using youth uh, pros like youth players is because you get an attachment to them, you know? Like, we brought in these youth players. Right? Like, we found Matteo Schmidt. Gave him a call. Oh, that was a great tackle man by Marino. That was a great challenge. Sidebar. Oh, my goodness. You get attached to these players, though, you know? Like, because we gave them a contract. We gave them their first ever professional contract. You get attached to these players like Schmidt, like Marino. Oh, he dinks it. 1-1. One, one. Marino, right. We'll take him off. He's on a yellow card. We don't want to risk it. We'll take him off. I thought that was a great challenge, if I'm honest with you. But to see these players come up from being a youth player, uh, you know, maybe not great to begin with, to then absolutely becoming absolute beasts. Like, look at Schmidt go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. It's such a nice feeling. And that's one reason I love Road to Glories is using the Youth Academy and getting these players in and making them absolute world beaters. I think it's such a nice feeling. Cohen, great challenge. Can he keep it in? He can. Schmidt now. Maybe get across into the box. Kusets, no. Greaves, can he win it? A little bit. Daniel Rush is there. Back to the goal scorer, Daniel Rush. I don't know if it's Roche or Roche. Here he is again. Into, oh, what a ball for Greaves. What? Oh, my God. Is Greaves left-footed? 
Again, I'll let him off if he is. Everyone's left-footed, man. What a ball that was. Oh, don't let them score again. In the box. Oh, we was jockeying. Oh, my God, McGee. What a save. Holy moly. Hernandez on for his debut. McGee, what a save that was. Cohen. Good clearance. Not really cleared all the way, though. In the box. Oh, well done. Daniel Rush. Good. Great defensively. Reeves comes away with it. No, he doesn't. Oh, great tackle. Schmidt. Helping out defensively. And then pushing up offensively. Oh, Mateo Schmidt, no. Boateng. Oh, Hernandez. That is solid. Ten minutes to play. Got to Kusej. In the air with, uh, was brave, but he controlled it lovely. Down to Mateo Schmidt, who's running through. One-on-one. -on -one. If there's anyone you want one-on-one, -on -one, it would be Mateo Schmidt. And that is exactly why. 85th minute at home. Last game of the season. Who else? But Matteo Schmidt, ladies and gentlemen, our best player on the team, our biggest wonder kid. He's going to be the next Messi on that right wing. He's absolutely top class. And he has just ended off this season in pure perfection, ladies and gentlemen. What a run. What a finish. What a goal. 2-1 to Tranmere Rovers. Playoff football. Here we come. Lovely full-time whistle, ladies and gentlemen. 2-1 win. And the crowd goes wild you can see what it means you can hear what it means to the team as well the fact that Tranmere Rovers have clinched a playoff spot we'll see who we're up against in the next episode AFC Wimbledon League 2 playoffs here we go then we have Wimbledon Doncaster have Bradford the league table ended we finished fourth in the league in the end so top three do get promoted crazy 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 Top scorer. Did we have anyone? Tran we didn't really have an out on our goal scorer, did we? Nah, no one's popping up. A sister. Damn, we was nowhere to be seen. McGee had the most clean sheets in the league. So there you go. I guess we had something. Liverpool win the Premier League. Arsenal are in second. Man, you're down in eighth. Very realistic. And there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, the end of the season. Next episode brings the playoff football. Tranmere Rovers. We want to get promoted. I think we can. Much of as always, take care. And peace. Before you go, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Whee! Yeah. Easy to see the truth. I never want.